seven day writing blitz is my seven day invitation to you and your kids to think about writing differently, to get out of this trap of everything is on college ruled paper at the desk with a mother hovering looking for spelling mistakes, right? We want a completely different experience of writing. We want to start seeing language erupt. We want to see all the ways that writing can be used. Day one is graffiti. That means writing with unusual tools on unusual surfaces. You can write in many places. There are so many surfaces waiting for your kids to jot down their ideas and thoughts. And weirdly, when we liberate this space, when we say, any utensil, you know, lipstick on a mirror. I mean, you could just write with a lipstick tube. You release freedom. Suddenly, all that bottled up feeling that I can't write because I'm afraid to take the risk goes away. It's like we disrupt the narrative about writing by giving permission to violate the rules. And what are the first rules of writing? Well, you have to use a pen and you've got to do it on paper and it better be perfect. But when we say you can use a mustard bottle on a white piece of paper or on a white paper plate, doesn't that just immediately knock all of that sideways? Like you're not thinking to yourself, oh, I better spell right. You're like, woo, woo, how can I make a G using a mustard bottle? You're only as courageous as your community. It's very hard to do things alone. Very hard to change the rules for your homeschool all by yourself. But if you can start to build a support group for yourself of people who share the same goals or at least aspire to the same ideals, you will feel so much better about taking those risks. You know, it's the difference between going it alone on a hike and going with friends. I invite you to try something different just this week. When you see resistance, stop and ask yourself, have I issued an invitation to learn? Am I insisting or inviting? What can I do that helps my child be interested? What would catalyze interest 